got me started was the discrimination against women, students at LSU. We were held to a totally different standard than men. We had to be in at 10 o'clock. They could stay out all night. We couldn't walk out of the door with rollers in our hair. We couldn't wear pants out of the dormitory. But there were no rules for the men. That was like, something got to change here. You have to look at where Louisiana was at this time where women could not own property. Women were the property of their husbands. The Fair Credit Reporting Act was not applicable in Louisiana because women could not have credit on their own. So when Roe v. Wade happened and it became law of the land, it was something that I realized right off the bat and it has been my absolutely firm belief and it doesn't matter if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're white, black, it doesn't matter. If a woman cannot control the destiny of her body, she cannot equally participate in society. So that becomes the most fundamental right for women. Not equal rights, not any other right, not equal pay, nothing. If you are still subjugated to the will of men, you are not an equal participant. Working in reproductive rights became a 24-7 job because not only was I involved with that, I was also involved in the women's movement at large, delegate to the International Women's Conference. It is non-stop. It was all consuming. When I got elected to the board of the National Abortion Rights Action League, NARA, there's a little blurb about me in the state's item. Got up to go to work the next morning out of my car and I could smell gasoline windows in my car were busted out. I had a little Fiat. I could smell gasoline, so I opened up the hood, and they had gone in. The right to lifers had gone in and sawed the metal manifold, and had I started the car and driven off, my car would have blown up. They were not fun people. You know, they talk about right to life. They're not for life. They're just pro-birth. They have no respect for the quality of life. They only want the quantity, and they are only pro-birth because they don't give a shit about the people once they're born. Even after I had been so public in my work with Delta Women's Clinic, and I can remember the newscaster on Channel 4, I mean, she says, well, Susan, you're a gay woman. What are you doing working in abortion? And I was like, I can't believe you asked me that question. It always amazed me that people could not understand why that was so important. And it, and it like I said, it still is. It is, to me, the defining issue for women. It always will be.